Welcome to my time machine, folks. To a simpler time back in 1977 when Roger DaCosta ruled the Grand Prix circuits overseas in Europe on this very bike right here. Joe Robert in over here in the United States, Tony DiStefano was kicking ass. You know, it was a simpler day back when the bikes were easy to work on. You could rebuild your top end by taking eight bolts, four for the cylinder head, four for the jug, and do it yourself in your garage. Before the four strokes took over, before the two strokes were ruled out by the EPA, this is a simpler time. I was 12 years old when this bike came out, and my brother had the had the my big brother Ray had the had the bigger uh, the little brother of this one. He had the 77 RM100, which looked like, which looked exactly like a shrunk down version of this one. This is an absolutely stunning uh, piece. It's uh, Absolutely museum quality. It's going to be on display in the museum until it goes to its new home. Part of the 150 motorcycle auction we're having this week to raise continuation funds for the museum. We've got a lot of overhead here, so beauties like this that I'd like to keep, we have to let go. Um, I guess I'll start with the paint job. Uh, it has a uh, professional paint job done by Mill Street Auto. A local body shop did this for us. Uh, brand new Suzuki graphics on the original tank. It's original. This is the, the uh, I think this is the last year of the metal tank, then it went to plastic after this. Beautiful, beautiful metal tank. The original seat base is in beautiful shape. It has a new seat cover and foam on there. The rear fender is new. The side covers are new. The front number plate is new, as is the front fender. Uh, the original bars were touched up, and it has a new Suzuki crossbar pad, new Ori grips. Uh, the levers are in like new condition, as are all the cables on the bike. Those were previously replaced. The engine put down 160 PSI compression. Uh, the carburetor has been rebuilt. It's got a brand new air filter in it, brand new spark plug. The engine was completely uh, first steam cleaned, then hand sanded and painted. The cylinder head and jugs were polished with scotch Bright and quadruple zero steel wool. The carburetor was clean. The original exhaust system is in mint condition. That was completely repainted. Speaking of the exhaust system, this still has a Stinger muffler on it on the back here. And the muffler is a, uh, a really, really, really rare piece. As a matter of fact, my parts manager, Shane, said there was one on, online, on sale, on eBay, just this piece right here, $1,500, which to me seems kind of ridiculous, but I guess they're totally unobtainium anywhere in the world. Most of them got taken off or destroyed. And it has this really peculiar looking bracket set up right here. So uh, that's the original exhaust and muffler. The shocks are uh, a replacement set of shocks, period, correct, from the, uh, I believe, the OEM manufacturer. Chain of sprockets are like, the chain's new and the sprockets are like new. It has a brand new rear tire and tube. The entire bike, you know, one of the things I want to point out, okay, here's a clue. This thing wasn't a racer. Generally, good luck finding a 77, any off-road bike that still has the kickstand, especially a motocrosser. Take it off the stand, lean it over, show us the frame rails. Uh, that's, let me put it, let me take it off the stand, lean it over. Kenny wants to show you guys the frame rails. Um, let me get a feel here. This, this frame rail here is like OEM brand new. There's not a single dent or ding down here, not a single dent or dink right here. The original foot pegs are in perfect condition or not bent or anything, indicating this is a pristine original survivor. The swing arm's in mint condition also. Let's head over to the other side. This is something we always do on the vintage motocross bikes. You gotta check the, uh, this thing runs as good as it looks. It started, I just started it about 10 minutes ago before I bought it out, it started first kick. It's stone cold right now and it will start first kick. This side of the frame rail, not a single pebble ding, not a single, not a single ding at all. So that's really quite remarkable, even for a newer two-stroke bike, let alone one that's uh, uh, 50 years old. So the um, the uh, shifter, actually, it's a 77 that makes it 43 years old, four decades. For those of you who have been watching, I studied up on my math. That's 4.3 decades, 4.300 oh, oh, to be exact. So the shifter is the original shifter, and it's in mint condition. There's a clue, so is the side cover. Um, just a beautiful looking piece of vintage moto art. The uh, original fork lowers have been polished. The brakes have been um, uh, gone through and serviced. It has a brand new matching Dunlop front tire and tube on the front. If you zoom in, you'll see it still has the hairy knobs on it. The original chrome on the forks has a little patina on here, a little bit of pitting, uh, but uh, the forks were uh, previously rebuilt with new seals and new rubbers, as you can see. This one's got a little checking on it. That one looks to be brand new. Um, they're not leaking, so uh, they're fine. This side, the peg is in perfect condition. The Kickstarter, uh, again, another indicator of whether a bike's clapped out or not. Look at how tight that is. It's like a brand new kicker. Nice hardware, beautiful graphics. Just a stunner all around, top to bottom, front to back. 
Good luck finding a nicer 43-year-old classic motocross bike of any brand, let alone a Suzuki. Um, just to put it in perspective, we just sold an 83 RM500 at auction. It sold for $12,500 in similar condition to this. I'm not sure what this will bring at auction, but it'll have a low reserve. I have a work order, $3,600 work order for the services, the restoration services that we just did on the bike. So that combined with the, the purchase price of the bike, uh, we've got well over 6,000 invested into it. Any profits we make from the, the restoration of the bike will go to the New England Motorcycle Museum Continuation Fund. That's why this is being sold um, to raise funds for the museum. Beautiful Ori grips. I got my Suzuki Rochester period correct jersey on. Let's fire it up. Enough flapping of the gum. Let's hear how she runs. There's Billy on a 77 Sportster. Same here. Straight up, wow, this thing hauls the mail. What'd you think, Junior? How'd it sound? 
This thing hauls ass. If you're looking for a vintage race bike, or if you're looking for a vintage classic to just put up on a stand in your man room or in your museum, or if you have a Suzuki bike shop and you want a, a piece of classic moto history, there's many different uh, ways I could see this bike going. If you want to take a bike to, to Unadilla and uh, run the 70s class, this would be a, a definite hot candidate for that. The brakes, the suspension, the transmission, the clutch, the motor, the frame. Back to the frame, because that, that's really, it's like the frame of a vintage car if you buy a 67 uh, Chevelle or something like that. But you got to make sure the frame's good. The frame on this one's absolutely perfect. So this is obviously a bike that sat in someone's garage for decades and then was just completely restored to brand new condition. So if you have any questions about this classic, give us a call, 860-454-7024. I'm bringing it down to the detail shop. I'm gonna have Doc give it the PhD level museum quality detail, wash and wax, and uh, it's going in the museum on display. You can look at it. Museum uh, is open seven days a week here at 200 West Main Street. It'll be on the third floor with the Evil, Robbie Knievel CR500, Doug Henry CR250, Ricky Carmichael's RC, 250 CR 250 and Stanton's 250 so it'll be up there with some significant moto history uh, Come down to the museum check them out if you want to buy this bike come inspect it or take a close look at all the, the, the pictures and photos and uh, The carburetor is starting to overflow I gotta shut the gas off or start it Pure pure moto perfection right here folks Captain America approved all proceeds go to fund the New England Motorcycle Museum. Thanks for watching. God bless America.